two of them. <laughs> Only one in it. Me and Lyndon are one up. This is a tenth, 415 yards, stroke two. Goes around to the left a little bit. It's a lovely tee shot, this one. If you can knock it on the fairway. Always a bonus. Look at that here. Spines like a zither. Shot, it's got to go a bit, has it? Go. Get over. Oh, it's oh, perfect for oh you, that. Word. It's perfect. Tiger line. 190 to the back. All set, all right. I'm going to pitch it about 175, so I'm just going to hit a little six. Just down the grip a little bit because the ball's above my feet. Just had a discussion with uh, Lyndon, he's got 135 to the middle, but 153 to the back. So really 153 for Lyndon's an eight time, but he doesn't want to go long and it is downwind. So if in doubt, you're better off playing to the middle and letting it release to the back rather than trying to pitch it at the back and going through, because if he goes through, he's short-sided himself and he's got no shot. Also, he's probably going to be more accurate with a 9-9 than an eight time, although not much. He's just hit a lovely putt there. <laughs> have to draw a little bit off this line, so he has to pick 9 9. Billy's had 3, Ian's had 2, but it's not on in 2. And that's just right at the side of the green, that's alright, that'll be good. No, that's fine. Pretty much it's aligned. A... Middle of the green, distance wise. He's got this for a 3, and at 2. I don't think he's hit it high enough. He's not hit it hard enough either, like I say, he's still being spooked from that second hole. So this is 11. Have that last hole. We're still one up. This is about 380. Play up to the marker post and then down to the green down the left. Yeah, yeah that's good. Well done. Great strike, but it's big and left there. Ooh, sit down. 43, 99, nine, downhill, downwind. Just tugged it a bit. It'll be okay, that. Just inside the bunker. Yeah, it's the right club. It's fine. Up. I've just made a birdie on that one, all the pretty good pop. Uh, this is 12, 340 yards, stroke 11, so shots for Billy and Ian. Yeah, that's good. He's got this for a 392 to go back to one down. Lovely shot in. Unlucky. Okay, pick it up. So, Ian won the last one with a four net three. He's one in it. This is a par three, the 13. No shots. It's about 160 yards to the flag. The flag's on the front of the green. Good that, Whoa. it's best of the lot. We've Whoa. almost hit a bit right, that might kick in a bit. Yeah, yeah it's kicked That's in, it's good. Lovely That'll be good that. Chipping and pitching on this hole. Ian's just talking to himself, his own little world. I didn't catch that, there's plenty of that. Plenty of editing going off this week. He's played that really well. Well done Ian. Ian's got this for a three. This would be a great three. Bye, baby.
Cut. Cut. Is that the line then? Trapped him over the tree on the corners of Par 5. Lyndon's uh, mixed the man up a bit. That's good. Dry stone wall in. I'm not sure whether that made it over the wall or not, but it's very wet where I was, so I didn't find it anyway. But there, uh, Lyndon's got this is third shot. Good strike, good. Billy's in the bunker right, so. But Billy does get a shot on here. Good shot. Real. This is 15, so there's only four to play. It's 115 yards, par three. Another fantastic par three. Mine's in there close. You can kind of take this one a bit long and a bit left, and it feeds down from there. Linda's going to get stuck on the wrong slope there. He's got a treacherous putt. Mine's pretty close. That's good as well, Ian. It could be if it's long, you're dead. But oh no, oh dear, my heart bleeds. That's got to go. That's got to go. Oh dear, I've been trying to talk Linda into going 90 degrees up to the hole because it's the only way you can get it dead. And he's not convinced. I don't think you've hit that hard enough. But it's not bad. Ian's got a pretty speedy one from there. He needs the flag lying down behind the hole to stop this. Don't forget, Ian, if you can stop this for the hole, you can have half the flapjack. Got to go left. Too far right here. It's going to go left. It's going this way now. Come it's on, not, it's going back. It? Come on! Oh! oh. <laughs> Unlucky. Oh, yeah. 16. Yeah, that's fine. So we've just closed the game out on the last, I made a cheeky little two. Um, so we've won four and three, but we'll show you these last few holes because they're just as nice as the rest of the course. It's good from Billy. Ooh, good bounce as well. Well done. Probably got nearly two feet of break on it. Chance of me holding this for Ian, looking about in the background, but slumming on. So this is 17, uh, the fourth par three. The par threes around here are just yeah, beautiful. Exactly. It's not a bad one. This is probably a little bit different because it's more like a a flat, you're not going over a valley, it's a bit longer as well, so this is 1.5, I think 8 it is playing today, 1.58, it's a mid-iron, all the rest are only really 9 irons and wedges, but it's just so peaceful and picturesque around here. Something friendly over there. Yeah. What do we think to Don Johnson this morning? about 420 from where we play it. Par four, flat dog leg left to right and the fairway slopes left to right. Oh I say. Oh. 
to me as well. So, approach shots into the last. Again, lovely hole. Right, just a bit left. The nine iron. That's okay. It's just a long putt from there. But you're good at them, aren't you? <laughs> good, leave them short. Tugged it a bit. Into the follow through. Always got a nice bounce. Just on the fringe. Just giving that chance. There is that. Well, Ian, what do you think to that? Um, nice. It is a beautiful place, isn't it? You have to come as well, just for the welcome that you get out of the... Uh, I've gone the wrong way around one way system. You have to come just for the welcome in the shop. The staff in there are absolutely fantastic. Come over and spend a fortune because they deserve every penny. And the golf course is really good. It's £35 a round, um, which is really good value. It's been the right result as well today. I've taken five pounds off Ian, which is always always good. Next week, real treat for you. Not that this wasn't, but we're going to play at Woodall Spa in a, a, a couple of days away. So uh, look forward to showing you around there. We'll see you soon. Yeah. You got anything to add to that? Ian? I need some balls. Oh, you need some, you need some balls. I get you some balls. <laughs> good price. I can get you them at. So see you later, everybody. Bye. Saturday morning, I'm still thinking about how good yesterday was. I want to try and give you a bit of detail as to why it is so good. Um, the course always gets voted in the top 50 in the UK. Uh, it's voted the best coast, uh, course in Derbyshire. Uh, it's the best course under 6,000 yards. All these accolades that go to it. It's the course that's inspired the Augusta National. And you can, you can see that. And the thing for me is that sometimes you'll go and play somewhere which is a lovely golf course but not in a great area so somewhere like Selby for example I like the golf course but what's around and about it kind of just takes the edge of it a little bit but the opposite of that will be somewhere like Bamborough Gassel which is um, it's an average golf course really if you put that golf course anywhere else it wouldn't be anything but the scenery around there with the, 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 the sea and the coastline and everything is, is unbelievable but Buxton Cavendish for me has both it's Beautiful golf course, really good layout, a good test of golf, but it's in the most fantastic scenery. Even the drive there, that's why I included some clips on part one of the, of the drive there. The other thing I say about it as well is that the greens are something that most people don't ever experience playing ordinary members' golf courses. Um, the greens yesterday were they were fast-ish, but we were told when we came away that they had them at 12 and a half on the stint meter, which is Augusta fast. And with some of those slopes, that's going to be unbelievable. You think about the putt that you've just seen Lyndon have on 15, where he was putting literally at 90 degrees to where he was where he was aiming. Um, it's a real level up. So when you're giving shots out like I am, you feel like even if you're on the green in, in two with somebody who's getting a shot, you've still got a really good chance because you get a better idea of, of what the slopes are going to do. Can't tell you enough. Go and play the golf course. It's such a beautiful place to play. And for 35 quid, you'll not get a better place.